Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. We're very, very excited to show you the a demo of the upgrade that will be pushed out to the scale network in the next few weeks. So uh, before we kick off, uh, we'll start with some introductions. Hello, I'm Jack O'Halloran, the CEO and co-founder of Scale Labs. And uh, Stan, you wanna kick it off over there? The intros? Hey guys, I'm Stan Kletko. I'm the CTO of Scale Labs. Hi guys, I'm Serge and I'm engineering lead here in Scalabs. Hey guys, I'm Alex. I'm software engineer in Scalabs. All right. Okay, everybody. So we have two demos ready to show you today. And I think a lot of people have been waiting for this, the, the upgrade and, and uh, a lot of developers. I think there's 135 uh, teams signed up for the Scale Innovator program. Many of them have been uh, in, waiting in anticipation for this upgrade, which essentially launches interchain messaging, which allows for every scale chain to speak back and forth to the Ethereum mainnet. Um, for those of you that don't know, the scale network is not one blockchain. The scale network are many, is made of many nodes that then can be pieced together into smaller blockchains, giving every application their own blockchain, making performance very fast at very low cost. So uh, without further ado, we're going to kick off the demo. All right, Stan, go for it. So we actually have two demos today. The first demo shows our workforce, workforce a medium chain that most DApp developers are going to use on scale in 2021. And the second demo is more like pushing scale consensus to the limit, showing what our large scale is capable of if you run scale consensus on a really, really powerful machine. So let's start and proceed with the first demo. I'm going to ask Alex to help me with the first demo and share his screen. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. just so everybody knows, we've got 16 nodes in a distributed environment in the cloud running a 132nd size chain. And Alex is gonna kick it off and we're gonna see, see metrics on the front end. Yeah, let's go. So as you see here, we are running a medium chain. Again, that's something that our DF developers are going to be really familiar with this year. See that, first of all, blocks are being generated really fast. We have over two blocks per second, which is really important for interactive applications such as games, social networks, microtransaction processing, payments. And then we get, get about 100 transactions per second, which in our view is pretty good and serves both purposes for most uh, D apps of today. So we think that this transaction per second number provides a good balance between price and decentralization and performance. You yeah. see that the, the chain is running pretty stably and the, you have about two plus blocks per second and around 100 transactions per second. Awesome, and Stan, just so everyone knows, uh, there's a lot of effort to get the block time down. And I think, when people think transactions per second and the more per second, they think that's what really matters. And um, where the market is, that's not what matters. So we uh, and the, the open source community here behind scale put a lot of effort into getting the block time as low as possible. Um, and you know, if you're doing hundred transactions per second per, per chain, that's still over 8 million transactions in a day, which is, is far more than, than what the market needs. And over time uh, there's, there are, optimizations and, and components that can be altered to make the TPS higher. And, all, and as Stan says, if you want to put more compute behind it, it, like for a large chain, for example, it can get a lot more throughput, which we're going to show you in a second. OK, guys, so that was our first demo. Let's now proceed with the second demo. The second demo is a little bit different. It's pretty much scale consensus running on 16 very powerful machines. So it's really pushing performance to the limits reaching, as you will see, several thousand transactions per second, which frankly may not be something which is needed for a typical DApp of today. It's more of a transaction speed similar to a major credit card processor. And in any case, this is uh, something which is the future of scale. This is a large chain that we plan to release sometime later for power hungry applications. And with this one, I'm going to ask Serge to start the second demo and share his screen. Yeah. 
Well, this is the second demo. In this demo, we are really running on much more powerful machines and also pushing lots and lots of transactions per second. Uh, as you see, when we push lots of transactions per second, we're essentially pushing every cent to the limit and the block time increases a little bit to about four seconds plus, and also the block size increases. Uh, and then when we are pushing so many transactions per second, we are able to actually increase TPS and TPS reaches, depending on network conditions, from 1600 to 1700, 1800, or 2000 transactions per second. You will see that when the uh, TPS reaches the limit, it actually stays pretty stable, and the entire blockchain reaches the stable state where it has uh, the maximum block size, which is in this case around 8000 transactions. And the block time goes to about five seconds, which is still good for a transaction to finalize in about five seconds. And you're really getting pretty high TPS per second. With this one, I'm going to finish the second demo and ask Serge to unshare his screen. All right, hey, great demo. Thank you guys. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed seeing that. Now. Uh, what's happening on the back end is scales running on uh, decentralized servers. And what we're seeing on the front end are the performance metrics. So we're really excited for the upgrade to come here in a few weeks. Also, again, uh, as a reminder, scale is open source and decentralized. We appreciate all the contributions. We appreciate the community coming together. Uh, right now, there's 153 nodes run by 46 unique validator orgs and uh, just tremendous work and support from the community. So. Uh, let's keep it up and excited for the launch of Scale Chains. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>